Hello, good afternoon, or good morning, or good night. You could be watching this at any time. Isn't that amazing? That what an amazing world we live in. Such access to information and media, all this stuff. You might have noticed if you've been watching this channel, there's not many. I don't have many subscribers, but that's okay. You know, they'll either come or they won't. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm putting stuff out there, and it's fun. And it's thoughtful. I'm now known as the Cosmic Threader. Some of you may have known me as Hat and Hoodie Guy, but my name has changed. Uh, my my actual name hasn't changed, but the handle I'm using on on the tubes has changed to the Cosmic Threader. And uh, that's actually a tarot reading name that I've used as part of a performance art project, if some of you are wondering. So that's a little bit of history there. Beautiful winter day. Beautiful winter day out here today. And uh, the whole bent of this channel is supposed to be stump philosophy. So this, this particular video is going to be a little bit more along those lines. And I'm going to ask some tough questions of myself and give you guys some stuff to think about. Maybe they're not tough, tough questions for you. I'm a pretty simple guy. So, uh, you know, certain things challenging our world right now really give me pause. And maybe they give you pause too. I don't know. So, you know, put down there in the comments if, you, uh, if you're worried about some of this stuff or if you're not worried about it. And the, the subject that I want to bring up is artificial intelligence or just technology generally. Um, in our lifetime, if you're about 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60, we've had rapid, rapid, rapid change between about 1950 all the way up until now, 19, or, where are we, 2020, hard to believe. Um, I can remember Conan O'Brien doing a sketch. In the year 2000, in the year 2000 with his uh, wonderful sidekick. Uh, can't think of the name. I'm sure you guys know it, but uh, Conan O'Brien had a, a wonderful sidekick that didn't get any of the credit. He was a hilarious guy. He still was. He's not dead. He still is a hilarious guy. Uh, Andy Richter. He's a hilarious guy, and he gets none of the credit. And I'm sure Conan loves that. I think he's still doing stuff with Conan, but I'm not really sure. They, they ended up on opposite coasts for a while, so they weren't really doing stuff. Regardless, um, a lot of stuff is kind of how we thought society would move forward, but also kind of not. Like, I recently caught all of the Back to the Futures, and I think it's in year 2015, and in uh, the second Back to the Future, and they have hoverboards. And this is a bone of contention for many people today. We're like, where are the hover hoverboards? Where are the flying cars? We were promised flying cars by now. Somebody ought to deliver. Elon Musk? Maybe you ought to stop thinking about, you know, shooting people through a tube and, and just deliver on the flying cars. Forget about, you know, moonshots. Forget about SpaceX. Let's just get some cars in the air, man. Come on. This was your thing. You, you had one job. On a serious note, um, what do you guys think about this? Like, a lot of these companies, uh, Google, uh, SpaceX... Um, a lot of little tiny companies are pursuing AI. They want what they call the singularity. And they say this is going to replace all of humanity. This is going to replace us. All these jobs are going to disappear. You know, jobs that maybe you're doing right now. Any kind of delivery job, even driving jobs, may disappear entirely due to self-driving cars, automation, um, we've seen massive disruption in the last 10, 15 years with companies like Uber and Lyft. Um, and I'm sure there's countless other companies that I don't even know about that you haven't even heard of, or maybe you have heard about them. If you have, then let everybody know and we can discuss this. Um, because I think it's something that we as a society need to talk about. Um, and, and give, you know, give some serious thought to. Just take, just pause and just think, well... Do we really want these machines, these, these this singularity, this this consciousness, this other consciousness? Do we want it to take the driver's seat for us? Do we want it 
to be in command of our future and our present. So this is something to ponder. And I don't know what the answer is. I mean, this, this is stuff that I'm still learning about. We learn about it every day. I mean, you can't keep up with it. Really, can you? It's difficult to keep up with. Even the guys in the industry, I'm sure, you know, they have stacks of books on their, on their desk, you know, trying to learn the, the newest code. They can't keep up with the machines they're creating because the machines are, are inventing their own languages and, and they're watching the thing that they invented have a conversation with another AI and invent a brand new language that we and we don't know what they're saying. So should we be concerned about this? I think maybe we should. So uh, write in the comments, uh, send me a message, uh, do your own video about it. It doesn't matter, but I'm anxious to hear what you have to say. Cheers.